Okay, in this session we're going to talk about how to create uh, a new audience or manage an audience. So if you uh, already have an audience, that's fine. You're on your audience tab up here at the top. You'll see your main list or audience of people, um, but you want to create a new list so or new audience so you can uh, put together individual one-off quotes to clients. So I'm just clicking the manage audience button here on the right. I'm going to go down to where it says view audiences. And you'll see uh, when this opens, I only have one audience at the moment. So I am going to click the button to create an audience. Uh, and this is going to ask us about tags, which we'll cover in another video. But right now, we're just going to click Create Audience. So in here, you're going to call this what you want. We'll call this New Quotes. Um, the email address you want it to come from. So start typing your email in. And then the default name, who you want it to come from. And I've already been doing these, so mine's there. Um, remind people how they signed up. So I just put signed up for this list. And then you can scroll down at the bottom and you can save your list. So now I have a new audience and it's called New Quotes. I can see that right here. So under my New Quotes, I have no contacts. Right. So if I've got somebody that I want to send a quote to, uh, I will simply click Add Contact, Add a Subscriber, uh, and I can put information in here. Um, so we'll have my information, and I will mark that it says this person gave me permission to email them, and then click Subscribe once you get all your information filled in. You just really need your email address, um, preferably a first name and last name so you know who it's going to. You don't need all the other data. Mine just filled in automatically. So once you've saved that, now this is blank. So if I go back to Manage Contacts and View Contacts, now I'll see that my new contact is in the list. So I can use this um, audience list to send one-off quotes. So when I send it, there's only one person in the list. That's the one person I'm sending the quote to, so that's fine. Um, we want to make sure you get permission, but as long as you have emailed this person the quote and um, you can track the details of it, you want to move them to your newsletter list. It's very simple once you're in your audience list. Um, so just find the audience that you have, view the contacts, check the box next to the person you want to move. And then here at the actions menu, click this drop down and you can move them to your main list. So that will take them off this list and move them to the new one so that you can continue to add um, your new contacts to your new quote list, um, but then you move them off of that list uh, either to another list or uh, make sure that you have permission to email them for a newsletter, move them to your newsletter list. So the next time you work on this, you only have the one contact. Um, you can also copy this to another list and duplicate them, have them on both lists if you want to do that as well. Um, I don't necessarily recommend that. Um, but then once they're done, you can always delete them. So also you have the option to uh, check and hit delete. And then you can type delete to delete that contact. So that is your new quote list. Here in the drop down, you can always switch back to your main list that has all your main contacts and information on them. Okay, so that's how that works.